Hey y'all, Janelle here. I'm coming to you again today. It's still January 30th all damn day long. Um, I'm coming to you right now to give you a review. What am I going to be reviewing? I am going to be reviewing um, UrbanOG.com. As y'all know, I have talked about Urban OG in a couple of my videos. I have worn a couple of their shoes. I really, really, really like them. Um, so I'm going to show you the shoes that I have purchased from them. So I guess this is like a haul slash review. That's what we'll call it. Okay. So the first pair of shoes that I purchased from Urban OG were these um, camel colored faux suede ankle booties with the peekaboo toe and it also has this golden just splash of golden on the heel these are really comfortable um they the shoes they're comfortable how about that well comfortable um these shoes to me are not built to last you're not gonna have these shoes for years and years and years to come um the first pair these are the first pair like i said i bought um the heel came off like it was flapping like this probably from here to here it was flapping so i was like well damn what because i felt like something on my foot going on and then i stopped and i was like oh no my shoe is flapping so I glued that back on. As you can see, it's coming loose again just a little bit. I glued it on with just some super glue. But I like these a lot. I got tons of compliments on them. Um, yeah, I really, really, really like those. Those are so cute. And I, I have to buy my heels large because I have wide feet. But you would never know it with these. Um, and these are by Liliana. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me see. Liliana. Liliana. So I like those a whole bunch. Um, I feel like I'm missing a pair. What else did I buy from him? Anyway, I have these, um, thigh high black boots, wedge boots that I got from them. They're again, a full suede. Um, and I really, really, really like these. I really like, oh, I got some boots. That's what I mean. I'm missing some other boots. Yeah. I really like these though, y'all. And they're super comfortable. Um, this is in a 10 as well. That heel is not that high. That's about maybe four, four and inches, four and a half inches. Um, but I really has like this, just one sink, simple detail in here at the side. And I also have a cuff up here at the top. These were, I think when I bought them like 30 something, I'm not sure. I can't remember the, uh, the exact amount and these were 15 these were on sale and I was like I have to get these I caught these on sale and they were 15 I think originally like maybe $30 too but I really like those it has an inside zipper that does not go all the way up but you have enough room and like on me I'm short I'm five two and three quarters and these are perfect thigh high boots and I have really big calves and thick thighs too so these work for bigger leg girls um, yeah, I'm missing some shoes. Hold on, y'all. Let me go get the rest of them. Hold on. I'm tripping. Okay, y'all. Sorry about that. Another boot that I have from them is this black thigh-high riding boot. Um, I really like these. They have, as you can see, they have these three buckles down here at the bottom with the studs across the front of it. It has that half zipper. It has a, um, a stud, a, some, a, a buckle up here with some studs on them. And I wear it that way so you can see the buckle on the front too, the buckles, I mean the studs on the front too. I really like these. These are really comfortable. Um, these you have to fight to get them on. These are really tight on my big calf muscle though. I have to damn near fight to get them on. I've stretched them out just a little bit so they, they're not as much of a hassle but I like those I, that heel is almost kind of sort of um cowboy boot boot ish to me but I like these anyway and these make a really official heel sound um, when you walk but yeah I bought those okay um let's see what I want to start off with next next I'll go ahead and discuss this um I'm not sure what that is that's something on them. Um, this Jeffrey Campbell Lita Boot Inspired Boot. And this is um, by Glaze. And this is by Glaze. And as you can see, it just laces up just like the, Cam um, the Jeffrey Campbell. It has like these two details here. These two like button, not button, but you know, a little 
whatever they are, um, circles, just like the camp, um, the Jeffrey Campbell's. It has a chunky heel, a, a darker color, almost. It's chocolate. It's not black. Um, it's really, really, really deep chocolate. Um, chunky heel. These are fairly comfortable as well. These are pretty comfortable. I could walk in these all day. I just need some Dr. Shows and I'd be good to go. <laughs> but they are comfortable though, even without the Dr. Shows. They are really like these. Um, I really, really, really like these. I had to get them. I, I was eyeing them for a while and I had to get them. I really love them. The next um, pair of... I'll keep it in the same family. I have these... Um, I would say Jeffrey Campbell inspired boots that I wore today. They are my O O T N, so make I mean O O T D for today. So go, make sure you check that out. I'm gonna have it um, 70s inspired O O T D. But yeah, they are these caramel colored distressed um, booties. I really like them. I really, really, really like them. They're in a size 9. The other ones were in a size 10 and those were too big. So I got a 9 in these and these are almost too snug. So I think I need a 9 and a half and that would be perfect because I have really wide feet. But yeah, I really love these. Um, those are just so cute to me. And as you can see, it has that same 2 inch platform. Um, the five and a half, maybe five and three fourth inch heel. I really, really, really like those. Those are really cute, and I just think you know, you can wear those for an interview, you can dress them up, you can wear them to church. I really love those. Okay, the next thing that I got from them would be almost another Jeffrey Campbell inspired shoe. And this is the red version of the tan version. I just got these. I haven't even worn them yet. I haven't even put them on the floor yet, y'all. Um, but I'm super excited about these. And these are a faux suede man-made material as well. Um, they lace up exactly the same with the red shoelaces with the um, hardware down here at the bottom, the two-inch platform. Um, and again, that is a chocolate heel. Um, it's not black. I really like these. I got these in an eight and a half, and they fit com They fit so well. These are perfect. These are perfect. That's what I'm saying. Like some of my shoes. Uh, let's see. Are these the same name brand? These are glaze, and these are my glaze too. But they just—they're not as comfortable. I'm telling y'all, they are not that comfortable. It could be the material. I'm not sure, but they are not as comfortable, and they're damn near the same exact shoe. Just they don't come up as much, but it's damn the same exact shoe by Glaze. And I really love these red ones. I cannot wait to wear them. I have a really cute skirt and some tights and a top idea that I'm thinking about wearing with these. Okay, so the next thing that I got from Urban OG, these are the last, well, not the last pair of shoes, but the last pair of heels that I have. Um, and they are these hot pink fuchsia. Um, lace up booties with the heel out. I bought these in a 10 because I wanted to make sure that my heel wasn't hanging out there. Um, and these are by Shoe Republican. Shoe Republican. I really love these. These are so gorgeous. I have not worn these yet either. And I am going to wear these things out come spring. When it comes spring, oh, you are going to see me in these 24-7. I love this. I love the color. It's. I mean, I love it because it's pink. I love the color. I just love it. I can't wait to wear it. And it's comfortable too. Um... And then I just have some flats that I purchased the other day. And I, because I needed some flats. So I bought these little, um, almost like moccasins, um, shoe with the tribal print up here at the top. Some shoe, the different tribal colors. Um, it's a little like a little man or a rocket ship or a wing or a bird. However, you want to look at it, you know, with the bow and then just a little fringe here. And these are by Soda. Um, and these are not the most comfortable on my wide feet. These are not the most comfortable. Even though they're flats. Um, and then the last pair of shoes that I bought from UrbanOG.com were these really funky, really interesting, some people may even say ugly, flats. I just thought they were too cute and I really love this color. And y'all know that I bought it um, from the Goodwill, that gold blazer that I wore my OOT in and also the mustard 
shirts that I bought too. So I have plenty to match with this. And I just thought that is so cute. It has like some chocolate browns in there, some gray, some orange, some mustard, some yellow, um, even some black backdrop. I really love these and these are really comfortable. These are eight and a half and these are by Bumper. I really like them. So the website, you order your website, you order, um, you order from them. And my friend was really skeptical because she's like, they don't have a phone number. They do have a phone number. Um, and they do send you an invoice and it is handwritten. So it's not all computerized. It's somebody actually, you know, getting your, your, your order for you, putting your hands in the box, all the other good stuff. Um, I've never had to deal with them with the issue, with, with an issue with customer service because I've always, I bought online and my stuff comes the first um the first order that I made which were these um like I told y'all in my video that the tracking number that they gave me it never updated but that's not to the fault of Urban OG that's to the fault of um the carrier the postal carrier whoever sent the shoes by they just didn't scan it but yeah I really like them um it usually takes about eight days I ordered some my order some my mom some boots and she got her boots we ordered the same day she got her stuff the day before I got mine so in Atlanta it gets to Atlanta first before it gets to Montgomery but again that has nothing to do with my hair is so frizzy y'all I'm sorry look hold up <laughs> I'm telling y'all this hair this hair this hair child. okay but anyway it takes about eight days for them to get to me um from from they come from where the hell do they come from these packages I got like boxes over here somewhere I think they come from Cali I want to say I'm not sure I think they come from Cali though y'all trust me on that I get that white on your lip That's the egg. I love my egg though. My Eos egg. But anyway, yeah, I would definitely recommend them. Um, oh, what I wanted to say about the shoes. The shoes are not crafted, like I said, to be worn for years to come. Um, because like I said, this pair I had to glue. Um, and this pair I had to glue too on both of them. And I only had these for maybe two or three weeks two or three weeks and I had to glue it because it was coming loose on both pairs of shoes um, so those are the wedges um, but other than that I don't have an issue with them these these Jeffrey Campbell leaders or look at me that's what I want you to think but these um, Urban OG lace-up boots they when you walk on them you know how sometimes your heel can get like done you, you know you wear your heels a lot and you get that tapping sound that metal sound and that is my pet peeve that is the worst thing in the world about a woman you walk around with your shoes beat ugh is this the worst but like it has that sound to me like it's just pure metal or something um but yeah i would definitely recommend them though like like i said you know, if you just order your stuff, like if you want to, eat, want to wear this for a specific event, make sure that it's eight days in advance or six days in advance or seven days in advance. Um, but yeah, I really like them, ladies, and I would I would encourage you all to 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 purchase from them. I'm not, you know, they're not paying me, so I guess I really shouldn't be saying shit. But I'm just trying to put y'all up on game, cause see, them Jeffrey Campbell leaders is one sixty, and them little Urban OG things is thirty nine. Boo, you know what I'm saying? And I even paid. I paid 39 for the tan ones, but for the red ones, they were even on sale. I think I paid 29 for these, for the red joints. So, 
you know, you catch a major sale. Now, what I will say also is that some of the stuff is the exact same stuff that you're going to go on, um, that you can go on barefeet.com and see, that you can go on amyclubwear.com or whatever it's called, amyclub, football, whatever it's called. It's some of the same stuff, some of the prices. I do compare prices if I go on another website and see them. I do compare the prices and see, like, whether which one I would rather, which one cheaper, basically. But anyway, yeah, y'all, so this is my... Um, um, review of urbanog.com. All right, bye.